Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about the latest iOS 16 update, iOS 16.1. This is actually the first big update to iOS 16 since its initial release and of course it will bring a lot of new features and changes to iOS 16. So in this video, I will show you guys everything you need to know regarding iOS 16.1. Now before we get started, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel, so if you watch the videos and you enjoy them, please make sure to subscribe, it really helps out a lot. And we're starting first of all with the biggest new features that are coming to iOS 16.1, and one of them is live activities. Now live activities are basically activities from apps and now third party apps with iOS 16.1 that will be shown on the lock screen of your device. So let's say you have an app like a sports app, you're watching a game, you go to your lock screen, you will see here the live score with these kind of like notifications that you get on the lock screen without actually having to open the app. And now this feature is coming to iOS 16 with iOS 16.1. Now if you enjoy the depth effect on the lock screen of iOS 16, iOS 16.1, it will actually make it even better. Now the depth effect allows you to hide even more of the clock on the lock screen. You can see how much you can hide the clock there. It's actually really, really cool. If you get some type of different wallpapers with depth effect, some will also cover like the, the right there, the date on the clock. It's actually pretty, pretty cool. As you can see, you can actually go quite far with this. Previously, you could only go about just underneath the half and now you can see how much you can cover with iOS 16.1. There is now a change on the battery indicator right on the home screen of your device. Of course, now we have with iOS 16 battery percentage there, but now it's actually dynamic so it will change with the percentage of battery. Now previously it would show full until it drops at 20% and then it would just drop all the way here. Now it's actually dynamic and the numbers are a bit bigger. Now battery percentage is also coming to more iPhones. This will be a great feature for everyone that didn't get this feature with iOS 16. Now this is coming to the iPhone 11s and the iPhone minis. A whole lot of new devices are getting the battery percentage on the home screen. There's also a new charging feature with iOS 16.1. So if you head onto your settings and you go under battery, right here now you have battery health and charging, and you will find clean energy charging. What this will do by enabling it, it will basically just try to reduce the carbon footprint by selectively charging when lower carbon emissions are available. So this will basically be enabled by default. So if you just go to your settings, you will see that the feature is enabled by default with iOS 16.1. Now this right here is a feature that I really like. It has made a comeback with iOS 16.1. This was way back on iOS 15. Basically, when you wake up the screen of your device, it will show you how much is charged. It actually had been removed with iOS 16. Now it has made a comeback with iOS 16.1. There is also a change with the dynamic island on iOS 16.1. So when you go to one of your apps while in dark mode or you just have a darker wallpaper, you can see that now it will outline the dynamic island when you have something right there. Now this won't show if you don't have it active, so you don't have anything going on there, it won't show at all. But if you do, it will show that outline and it does the same even when you expand it. There's a new really great feature for the apps as well. So if you head on to your settings and you go under app store settings, you will see right here in app content. Now you can enable this and it will automatically run apps in the background. So it downloads content that the apps need before you actually even use the apps. This is a really, really great feature to have. And I suggest you go ahead and enable it right there. Another change for the app store, you will have now a brand new pop-up when you're purchasing apps from the app store you can see this new pop-up right here in my opinion is way cleaner than the previous previous one and it looks way way better when taking a screenshot on iOS 16.1 you will have a new menu so once you tap done you can see it will show you this drop down menu right here where you have basically the same options as before but now instead of popping up from the bottom here you will get it right there at the top and you will have of course the ability to delete the screenshot and save it directly from here when talking about deleting, you can now actually delete the Apple Wallet app. With iOS 16.1, Apple is allowing us to do that. You can now just go ahead and delete the Wallet app if you actually don't use it on your device. 
tap delete here and it's gone. There's a new way to switch between different lock screens directly from the settings app. So if you head on to your settings, go under wallpapers, this is what you will see from here. You can just switch between different lock screens and of course even customize each of them. So whether you want to customize the lock screen or the home screen, you just tap on the card and you can go ahead and customize it just like this. These are some of the new features that are coming to iOS 16.1. And now let's talk about performance. Now, initially when I installed the first beta of iOS 16.1, it actually had quite some problems. There were quite a lot of bugs and actual freezes on the device, even though I didn't have problems with battery as a lot of users experienced with the first betas. I didn't have that, but overall it had a few bugs and so bugs and some actual freezes within app. So it wouldn't let me go out of an app without locking and unlocking the device but overall it has been improved a lot since beta 1 and now it's actually quite smooth so here we have geekbench and let's take a look at the history and of course here the cpu performance with ios 16.1 so here i have one this was on beta 3 i believe and you can see the geekbench score here so the single core score is actually pretty much the same so 1885 on the latest one and we had 1889 while the multi-core score has been improved a lot so you can see we have 5586 on the latest one and we had here 5365 so it has been improved a lot and i could see this improved over betas apple did a really great job with ios 16.1 and i think it's ready for release and it will be a great update and now let's move on and talk about battery so battery on ios 16.1 is quite stable of course i have here a new device it has 100 battery health so you can expect to have great battery life but overall i didn't experience any problems with battery life it has been quite stable i would actually compare to the initial release of ios 16 so if you have ios 16 right now on your device and you're moving on to ios 16.1 don't actually expect to see any big improvements it didn't get worse for me it didn't get way better it's probably somewhere near ios 16 i don't want to say it's exactly the same but it's pretty much there so don't expect any huge improvements on battery life even though it's not bad and last but not least, we're talking about the release date of iOS 16.1. We now have actually an exact date for the release of iOS 16.1, and that will be next week, October 24th. Now, Apple will release that day iPadOS 16.1 as well. As you probably know, Apple didn't release iPadOS 16. They're moving on straight to iPadOS 16.1. Alongside that, of course, the new Mac OS and also iOS 16.1. So expect it to come to your device at around 10 a.m. Pacific time on October 24th. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is everything you need to know regarding iOS 16.1 before it releases next week and it comes as an update for free on your device. That's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.